arrests have been made in the killing of a 16 year old boy. Police say that boy was shot several times. One of the suspects is a 14 year old. Cat County News reporter Lauren Posen spoke to the victim's mom who shares that she thinks more needs to be done. While police have made arrests, the family of Alfonso Ramos is far from any closure. They say he was volunteering here at this rec center for a program that's all about making communities safer and reducing violence the day he was killed. He was just trying to, you know, help out and be around other people and help whatever, whenever he could. Crystal is Alfonso Ramos's mother. She didn't want her face shown out of fear of retaliation. Two weeks ago, she says her oldest son called her in a panic that Alfonso was killed inside the recreation center at Evergreen Park. She raced over here only to be met with more questions than answers. Until I got confirmation from other friends and family that were around here saying that they did see my son and that he was transported to the hospital where he passed away. As the hours turned into days, her son's killers remained on the run until this week. The suspects were identified as 26-year-old Michael Menares and a 14-year-old juvenile, both residents of Los Angeles, both suspected of being part of a local street gang here within Hollenbeck. Detectives say two days later, the adult suspect killed a man in the Hollenbeck area. They believe both suspects could be connected to several other homicides in the city as well. I was very heartbroken because now I didn't lose a child, but this other mother lost a child as well, and it, it breaks my heart. Even though this tragedy happened, like it's, I don't want any mother to go through what I'm going to. Crystal says her son's death has left a hole in all the hearts of her entire family, including his brothers and sisters. With his sense of humor and love of life, words can express how much they miss him. Until we see justice in the courts and they get their life sentence or whatever they get, that's when the justice is really going to be served. The family has set up a GoFundMe to help with expenses. The adult suspect is due in court next week. Reporting in Boyle Heights, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.